Hello, Adam. Lovely to speak with you. Lovely to meet you. Um, we're going to begin the interview soon. We're just waiting for a native speaker so that we can understand you. We've got a translator flying in. He's going to be here very soon. All right. Yeah, accent is actually... Yeah? You can't understand me? I can. But uh, wait, I need to hold when, you, when I talk? You can do whatever you want. Wait, you wait. Like, it's like dominance, you know? If you want to take it, you can. No. I, I prefer hold it. But it's not dominance. Because I feel like it's a bit disrespectful if you hold it for me, you know? Listen, I've been disrespected my yeah. time. It's fine. It's going to be fine. Listen, I want to ask you something. You were born on December 30th. I hate kids that are born on December 30th because people in school, if you're born on December 30th, what it means is you get double the amount of presents because you have Christmas and then your birthday. Did you have that? Did you get a lot more presents on Christmas or did your parents just give you one birthday, one Christmas, and you got nothing? Uh, I, I was getting both, actually. Double? Yeah. Yeah, you see, we're already, this, this is, we're already got, we're off to an issue already. It's a major issue in this interview. I want to confront you about something because you have this public persona. Everyone thinks you're this brash, young, vagabond, angry, you know, a bit toxic in solo queue when you're a bit younger. You've grown up now a bit. You're known for being a bit of a brat. Um, but you have a secret, don't you, beneath all of this that not a lot of people know about. That is that you're a bit, you're a bit of a political young man. You used to be called Rick Adam, which is a reference to the Yellow Vest protest. You went to a trade union protest when you were a young man. Talk to us about that side of you, because everyone thinks that you're this, like, brain-dead, play Darius, lock it in, kill the enemy. But you're actually quite a, you know, you've got that side of yourself. It's a bit softer. Yeah, yeah, I went to the union, you know, protest, yeah. etc. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Think, the power. Yeah, it was, like, uh, some years ago already. And, uh, you know, I could find myself, you know, my values in there. It was fun. That's, it's good, it's good mm. to hear. It's, it's nice that you've got that about you. Um, I mean, with all these political ties, it's no wonder the, the French casters gave you the nickname The Little Prince. I mean, that's all tied to royalty. Do you think the reason you play Darius is because the Noxian guillotine is similar to what people would have happened to them in the French Revolution? I guess, yeah, you know, I mean, I, as, a, as a French human, you know, I, I want to... French human? Yeah, I mean, I, I want to stay close to, you know, the history of my country, like the history of my country. So of by playing Darius, you know, it kind of, like, remind, reminds me, like, the French Revolution, as you were saying, you know, like the guillotine, etc. Mm. Purely French-made, right? So... We should be calling you La Terreur of the Toplin. What? La Terreur. Terror. Terror. Yeah, yeah, terror, terror. In England, we don't use our throats in that way. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, yeah. That's, that's good to hear. Um, <laughs> when you were on K Corp, to keep it political, you guys on K Corp, you had a very close uh, connection with the president, Macron. I'm not going to ask you how you think he's doing, because it's irrelevant. But, I mean, do you think instead of working on... I mean, he's very good at macro, obviously, because he's Macron. Do you think instead of working on macro, he should work on micro instead? His mechanics. I mean, he actually showed a lot, uh, a bit of weakness, you know, in terms of uh, micro, etc. Yeah. So I would assume his micro is at uh, on point, like you were saying, like his last name already. But uh, mm -hmm. he showed already some good, you know, stuff already from micro perspective. But, but if you take a look at from micro, we still haven't seen enough, I would say. Yeah. And uh, I would say it makes sense for him because I still, I still, you know, want more from him. Either like, why is he there? You know what I mean? No mechanics, just what are you doing? Yeah, you like, I mean? uh, I yeah. That's a good answer, thank you. Um, it's, so it's quite documented, there's a public, I mean, there's a story that Yamato told about you, you get to listen to music during the games, because you've got tinnitus, or tinnitus, or however you pronounce it. Yeah. What did you listen to today while you were losing? Uh, no, I, I cannot listen to music uh, here in the studio. Oh, but, only, uh, at only at home, yeah. But, uh, for example, when there was COVID, I was listening to, usually I listen to some good shit, you know? Like uh, like like pentakill music, you know when there's a drop and you're like holy shit, yeah. I I don't feel myself anymore. They make you listen to riot music only. Stop. From yeah yeah music. yeah. yeah. Riot music is music. insane. Yeah. Do you listen to like NF? You seem like an NF kind of guy. Do you like NF? No no. Thank God, I like you a bit more now. That's good. NF? Don't worry about it. It's fine. Right. So you've got a problem with your ears called tinnitus. Everyone knows about that. Does it annoy you if I do this? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Me it's fine. Yeah, no. but, Fair. but you cannot reproduce the, the noise with your voice because it's like I'm hearing something that you cannot hear, so you cannot reproduce it. That's trippy. Yeah. I like that. That's good. Um, so yeah, I mean that's uh, that's one thing. We'd, we'd, another thing about you is you're an avid fan of the WWE. You like wrestling. How do you know? So I know I know everything. Yeah. I, I, I do deep research. It's pretty fun, yeah. yeah. I, I can understand this. I mean, you play set, he's a champion, he slam dunks people, 
you know, sure. that makes a lot of sense from the top rope. All booyaka, that. booyaka, all of that jazz. And, you know, wrestling men naked or oiled up has been a part of history since the Roman times. I mean, it's a, it's a very important part of masculinity. You're a man, I'm a man. I can agree. I'm, I'm a big guy. Not, not, we're both short kings, but I'm a, a wider guy. So I like Andre the Giant. You know, that's my favourite wrestler. Yeah. Rest in peace. Stairs. Rest in peace. He's in the stairs. Um, you're, quite, you're a bit smaller. Yeah. Skinny. Yes, not really muscular, but you know, muscular. lean, lean is the word. And I'm as, yeah. Yeah. So, do you like Rey Mysterio? Is he an influence for you? Do you think it's a bit uh, stereotype? Because I'm Why? skinny, I like Rey Mysterio. Well, who's your favorite wrestler then? That's what I'm asking. I like Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. Yeah. Yeah. I like this guy. But he's I, on. He's I, on. I know him. You know, I got his number. Usually, we talk a lot. You talk to Brock yeah, Lesnar. Yeah, because like you know, when I was born, he. He started to enter, you know, the UFC. Yeah. And uh, like Paul Heyman, when I was born, by the way. Yeah. Like I was talking to him, I was like maybe uh, one or two years old, and I made him enter the UFC. You got Brock Lesnar into the UFC when you were two years old. I was one or two, yeah. As I was already you know, in the business doing stuff. I cannot wait. That is incredible. Yeah. Thanks. You. <laughs> that's. Why are you laughing? I'm not laughing. No, but right. The thing is, I want to believe you. You should. And I do. Why if I'm honest. Lying? Why would you? That is very true. Why would you lie? Yeah, yeah. There's no reason. Like, you, uh, you wouldn't lie to me. With the, um, the protest stuff, like, I was there, you know, you said... It. You were in the streets. Yeah, I was in the streets. Throwing gas cans. Of course. Just lying stuff on fire. I know it wasn't, you know, maybe conventional for, uh, for, from a low perspective, but, you know, when you have stuff to, to do, you need to do them. Final words to the camera. You're running for the president of the player union. You're a political man. Get them to vote for you right now. Um, as a president of the player union, you know, I hope uh, you guys will keep supporting me, of course, because after all, I'm your voice. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the one who direct kind of everything, you know. Mm. You, you know me as well, so you know what I do. I know what you do. And, uh, I know what he does. I do what I do, you know. So what he does. this yeah. is my stuff. Thank you. So trust me, guys. Cool. That's pretty much all I've got to do. Um, I love France. I love French people. I've had some issues with French people in the past. Which one? All of them, to be honest with you, they sort of. It's because I think it's because I'm from the UK and I like to, I like to do a French accent that's bad, and I think that annoys them. How do I? Because I've got on quite well with you. I mean, we're friends. Handshake. We're, we're yeah. friends now. How do I? How do I understand French people? How do I get them to like me more? Uh, I think you need to like pronounce the the way like croissant. You know. Croissant. Yeah, but you know it, it's. Bells, circles, greaves. You know it, it's not that perfect yet. You need yeah. to a bit work. It's like you know. Like, to, for French people to be a perfect, like, UK yeah. resident, you need to be able to say bottle of water. And, you know, it's a bit hard because you guys don't pronounce the words exactly like, mm. the, like the spell. So, you know, it's a bit hard. Yeah. That makes sense. That's really... Uh, France, for example. Bottle of water. Yeah, you know. You like, do it. Bottle. Like, like a bottle of water. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. Anyway, France and UK, we're coming closer, guys. Seriously, it's all good. We're all going to be fine. I've been speaking to Adam, and uh, we're hoping that he does well in the next series and in the future. Ruddy up. Thank you.